This story right here is the perfect microcosm of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and just how distorted it is by the news. So let's just look at some of these headlines. Terminally ill Palestinian prisoner dies after 38 years in Israeli custody. Sounds terrible. Death in custody of Walid Daka is cruel reminder of Israel's disregard for Palestinians' right to life. Disregard for Palestinians' right to life. Now let's just see who Walid Daka was. Well, he was the leader of a group who literally abducted, tortured, and killed a 19-year-old soldier. He was then tried in court and put in jail for life, just like any rational country would do. He died, by the way, of cancer in prison. And yet somehow, this literally sums up the Israeli-Palestinian conflict perfectly, just like October 7th, just like the fake Janine massacre that people till today propagate, just like the flotilla from Turkey. Everything they lie about and distort so that they can commit an actual atrocity, like killing a 19-year-old kid, and then be the victim when they die 38 years later in prison from cancer. And yet somehow Israel here is still the one who has a disregard for human life, not the people torturing and killing kids. 